So even though we're going to be focusing on the naming and not the drawing, I sometimes think it's easier to understand how to name it if you draw it. So taking a look at what I have here, I just want to say a couple things about this name. The two is telling me there's something on carbon number two. If I continue on, I note this hex tells me there's a total of six carbons, and this ene is telling me that there is a double bond, and that double bond must be on carbon number two because that's the special location I'm finding out about. So the first thing I would do if I had two hexene is I would draw the hex, the base part of my substance. I would draw my six carbons. So there I have six carbons. Now this is where your choice comes. I could call this carbon number one, or I could call this, it is up to me. If I call this carbon number one, then the hexene, this ene piece, has to start on carbon number two. Here's carbon number two. My double bond would go right there. If instead, when I decided to count, I count this as carbon number one, that E and that double bond must start on this carbon number two, so it'd be right here. Right now, I have to draw the H's in, but these are the exact same pictures. So if I do draw the H's in, again, you could figure out how many H's are needed for hexene by doing that CNH2N. Um, but the other thing you can also look at is how many more does this carbon need? So I'm not going to write all the H's in, I'm just going to show the lines, but H's would be there, there, and there. This guy only needs one more H, so I'd put him on top or the bottom. He needs one H, I would give him an H. This would need two, this would need two, and this would need three. Same with this guy, if I just add all his H's in, you'll see that he's really just the mirror image of the first one. Both of these are two hexene. I cannot name them anything but two hexene.